Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see what are the prerequisites or the necessary uh, tools we require to get started with SharePoint Framework. Okay, so before uh, getting started with SharePoint Framework, so let us know what is the SharePoint Framework. So it's a way of building solutions for SharePoint online and the initial release is also available for SharePoint 2016. It's more suitable for doing customizations in the modern site. Okay, so and it basically uses a modular approach. So you can do your development using any open source library like Knockout, React, Angular. So you don't have to follow the traditional approach from where it began, like we seen most 2007 where it all became with traditional uh, architecture using C sharp and accessing the library using the SharePoint DLL. So now you do not have to depend upon any of such kind of you know traditional architecture. It's all a modern approach for development. It's a replacement for a content editor and a script editor web part of the modern UI. It's available in Office 365 and SharePoint 2016 and it has a very easy way to embed JavaScript on the page. So if you want to have a form or any control or you want to embed something on a modern UI page or a classic page, you can do it using the SharePoint framework. Okay, so before, before you get started, you need to install Node.js and you can install Node.js from the Node.js site. So you can go to the site and you can install Node.js also. Also while installing Node.js, please take care that you install the right version and the right version you can get it from the Microsoft site. So if I go here and if I see, it will tell me what version of Node.js I have to install. Okay, so you can choose the kind of installer you want. And you can see we have the version 8.9.4. Okay, so 8.9.4 is supported. I notice that 9.x versions are not currently supported. So do not install those versions which are not supported. Okay, so you have to only install the latest LTS version. And it also includes the NPM which is 5.600, which is a node package manager. Okay, which is also very important. Okay, so once you have installed the node.js which I have already installed you need to check the version of npm so I can go to the windows powershell and I can type that npm hyphen v to check the version of the npm install so npm hyphen v So it will give me the version of node uh, npm I have. So so till we get the version of npm, so you can see that I have a uh, npm version 5.6.0. Okay, so yeah, that's it, and we also have. Uh, update available for npm but do not uh, update it update it only when it is needed or when we have an update available from the microsoft okay so now uh, you can install these tools globally or you can install them for a particular folder so we are going to install them globally so first we have to install you okay I go here and I click here and I do a paste and I click on end. So it is now going npm is going to now install you for me. So 
so now here we can see that uh, uh, we have installed here and here you can see what are the what what all did it do okay and how much seconds did it take so it almost took more than a, one minute to install you and now we are going to install the template generator for SharePoint I click on this and I go here and paste so this is going to install the templates uh, based on which you are going to create your SPFX solution that is your SharePoint framework solution okay now we can see that uh, I have successfully installed uh, the Microsoft generator for SharePoint and it took 29.44 seconds now I'll just show you a command and this command basically lists uh, things which you have installed so I'm going to type your npm uh, list hyphen g hyphen hyphen depth is equal to zero you can see I have installed the Microsoft SharePoint generator I have installed Gulp I have installed npm, I have installed TypeScript and I have installed you which are the most important packages required for SharePoint framework development okay so here you can see I have a command for installing TypeScript similarly I am going to install Gull I have already installed TypeScript so I am not going to do that but I will show and install Gull so again it is going to uh, install the gulp for us once that is done basically you have to install a certificate so that you can trust it and i have already installed that certificate so i will not be receiving any prompt but definitely you guys will be receiving a prompt so it's gulp i find gulp trust dev certificate gulp trust dev cert so this is going to install a certificate for us and for users who are installing for the first time it is going to give you a prompt so i guess for me i've already installed it that's why it did not work but it should work okay so once that is done you are ready with the setup and now I'll explain you what all did we install. So we installed Gulp server which is used for uh, automating tasks like build package and deploy. Then we installed TypeScript which is used for building the web parts. Then we installed the EMN project template generator which is uh, your Microsoft uh, generator for SharePoint. And then we have a workbench and what is a workbench is basically used for testing your apps without deploying to SharePoint. So we'll see uh, these things in a later demo but these are the prerequisites that you need to have before starting with SharePoint development. Okay so once that is done I also want to discuss with you so how my how we came to SharePoint framework solutions so initially we began with MOS 2007 and then we moved to SharePoint 2010 and it was all full trust farm solution the focus was more more on building farm solutions visual web parts event receivers use doing development using C sharp then SharePoint 2010 saw the beginning of the client upside development and sandbox solution and then 2013 we have we came across app model and powerful uh, REST APIs for client-side development. So what were the problems? From March 2007 to 2010, the problem was the farm solution because it had an easy access for the developer and there were performance issue and it was easy for the server to go down. Okay, and then 2010 saw the sandbox solution but again uh, there were a lot of limitations with the resource usage and again it still ran on the server. We brought in 
SharePoint client developed model, but that was not very useful. And then SharePoint 2013 came where we saw app model and powerful REST APIs. But again, the development was more in iframe, so there was no easy access to DOM and page lifecycle. So that was the major issue. So SP so that's why SPFX came, which allows us to run the code and context of the current user without using iframes. But in case of heavy operations or elevated privileges, we still have to opt for app model. Also, the point is that the content editor web part or the script editor web part was very easy, simple, just add HTML and JS and it was done. It was easily manageable for non-developers as well. It was also easy to make changes by anyone having access to the site. So this was dangerous as you may lose your code or anything can happen or any change can be made to your code. So SPF is a framework targeting for professional, secure and modern way of development. So that's it about uh, the prerequisites and getting started. Uh, we'll have a greater understanding if we look or create a sample demo in my next video thank you all if you like this video please like it and subscribe to my channel thank you